Hello and welcome to yet another of my videos. This one is about the um, Roxanne Caspian CD player. Um, I've had one of those before and the other one had a lot of um, I had a lot of trouble fixing it and uh, I don't think I've ever actually done it and I've sent it sold it faulty and somebody in China bought it and, and fixed it in a matter of hours replacing all the capacitors but well, this is a much later model and in here some modifications to the standard Sanyo board have been done as you can see it's pretty warm in there that diet was pretty warm but in the old units um, it just became scorched and this place used to fail in here already the mod has been done and um, and the unit now features quality capacitors so it's the, the Rubicons uh, uh, well half of them are Rubicons and all the brown ones are um, um, Elna Long Life and I replaced a few that are Sanyo but none of them was wrong so this was already done uh, there is a great 1305 chip underneath there there is a um, DAC board and audio board and over there also there are quality capacitors so they've um, they've done stuff uh, and and they've improved the player greatly um, what was wrong with it um, well two things one thing I've um, I fixed pretty easily and because it just wouldn't play any CDs and I cleaned the lens and it started playing them so that was as easy as that I always tell people start with cleaning the lens but normally I don't get them that easy to fix well the second thing unfortunately is not as easy and um, possibly I won't be able to do it at all when you see the display it is just very very dim and from what I could ascertain there are um, few reasons for that to happen one is uh, lack of voltage and um, that usually is due to bad capacitors because these are used in uh, voltage multiplying but it's not the case here and I've checked and there's more capacitors here on those boards you know you can see them there and there's another board there which I've checked and and, and, um, and I even took the display apart and in there there is some capacitors but this everything was fine so uh, there's a second possibility is that you know the display is at the end of its life and of course these are unobtainable and um, well maybe there's something else that I don't know about and I'm going to write to Roxanne and ask them for a diagram and see what happens but if you do have one of them with good display but it's ruined otherwise let me know and I'll buy that display off you maybe I'll pay real money like 100 bucks for it so um, that's about all it's, it's a very good player very good nice sounding player it plays everything CDRs and, and all and and it plays damaged discs I won't bore you with tones this time and and it, uh, it it's it's really nice um, nice design uh, or at least what I could see uh, and mechanically it's um, it's it's a fine unit too uh, I'll stop the music to show you how the drawer works, which I reckon that's a masterpiece. But but in general, to show you, I mean the big transformers, big toroids from the same company, the toroid that electric company use, and um, it, it's in a very good physical condition. And in case you're wondering what this. Um, Contemporary music is it's a Polish composer called Grażyna Batsevich from 1920s. So I didn't think that Women composed that kind of music in 1920s, but there you are. It's it's hundred year old music and and sounds even avant-garde. Well, let me show you the the actual um, Drawer I reckon it's that's a very nice mechanism very smooth and it um, and features um, Sanyo pickup uh, SF91 um, from memory. That's all folks and uh, remember if you do have 
a display for this unit. I'm keen to buy it. And perhaps I'll be able to restore it. I just don't know what voltages I expected there. I had like uh, minus 30 volts, minus 33 volts there, but I'm not sure if this is right or not. So maybe it says some electronics that doesn't supply the voltage, but no diagram. So we'll see what Roxanne says. Thank you very much again. Bye-bye.